I like to think of myself as a man of the people. Your, your common everyday Joe who loves movies, loves talking about movies, and most importantly loves reason. Over the last few years, it's no secret that Hollywood has been trying to course correct in a lot of ways. They've been including more people of color, more females, more ethnicities, more color ethnicities, is that the same thing? Subscribe for ignorance. These are all very good things and long overdue. I don't think anybody would deny that. There's an issue that's tied with this though that hurts the cause and hurts this new movement and that's wokeism. Wokeism, the wokening, being woke. I don't know, I don't, I've used that term more just now than I've used in the last year alone. It's up there with literally for me. The abuse that the word literally gets drives me insane. It should not be used by people more than once every few weeks, often for a punchline. But no, now it's just every day. Now it's, it's just filling in words, filling in the space. Woke is a crutch for people that don't have a valid argument often. If you don't know what the term is, I'm not gonna be the one to explain it because it has many faces and shapes over the years. Some people use it when they think that a movie has too many females in it. Some people use it when there's too many people of color in it, so thereby it's woke already. Are there good uses for the term? I think so. Ghostbusters comes to mind, that all-female Ghostbusters with Melissa McCarthy and gang. Definitely a woke film. Ugh, I don't like using that word, it's just gross. But what makes that one different than other movies with all female casts or all black casts, Adam? Well, the difference is the script is so shitty and it's very obvious there's an agenda at play. When the bad guys are all male and the only way to stop them is by shooting them in the penis, that's how you know you have a problem in the script department. When all the men in the film are either douchebags, sexist, or complete idiots, that's how you know the writing's really bad. The reason I hate the term is, as I've stated, it's overused and it's, it's done by disingenuous people who just want to dismiss anything and throw that term on it. People will often point out how it's unrealistic for a skinny woman to beat up a bunch of dudes in a room in a film that's clearly made to not be realistic. If you're gonna use that logic, go back to basically any movie from the 90s starring Jean-Claude Van Damme, which I've seen and absolutely love. They don't make sense. They're unrealistic. Just because a dude weighs like 80 pounds more and is stronger than the woman protagonist doesn't mean he should be able to realistically take out an entire fleet of villains. You can chalk that up to bad writing if it doesn't work for you, but don't use the woke crap. Charlize Theron. In Atomic Blonde, for instance, I absolutely believe she could kick those dudes' asses. And she's tiny. A tiny, beautiful woman. But she had the physicality to it, they had the great choreography, the hyper-stylistic action, and it worked. Terms come and go all the time, so do the trends, the bandwagon things to get outraged about. That's why I typically try to avoid it and just focus on individual films instead of the overall spectrum of what's going on in Holly Weird or with the agendas in the system. Imagine if we did this in the 90s and early 2000s with films. There were so many movies where it was a single dude taking on an entire army of bad guys and no one batted an eye. Arnold Schwarzenegger's jacked as shit. But there's no way in hell he's taken out a platoon of people with a handgun. Oftentimes with the Jean-Claude movie, he goes out, fights crime, comes back and bangs some hood rat, goes out and does it some more. The poor blonde woman that he bangs is usually in one movie and never again. Think of the outrage if it was reversed and it was a woman doing this, going back, having the one guy. Every man on the internet would be saying, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't remember that outrage back in the 90s when, when it was the male protagonist. And this isn't me white knighting or something. I truly don't care. I just can't stand the term. I know the reason why this term bothers me so much and it's because there is an entire dedicated fandom on YouTube that's for some reason pushed by the algorithm incredibly hard, which is ironic because they would often cry and say, they get flagged and they get blacklisted by YouTube. I've seen quite the contrary as someone that reviews movies and tries to do a, a fun professional job with, with honest opinions. I see garbage like they put out and think, how are you getting pushed by the Elgo so bad? You suck at this. You are so bad at this and you have 
one specific agenda you will always push and that's people are woke and Hollywood's woke and this movie sucks. Look at, no, don't look at these channels and I won't even say their names, but there is a dedicated group of losers who post the same shit week to week, sometimes day to day about just a specific set of topics. Star Wars is woke and sucks. Go woke, go broke. Brie Larson's an SJW feminazi. Kathleen Kennedy sucks. It's the same shit every week. They're going for the clickbait. They want the propaganda. They want you upset with Hollywood and they want you to somehow be angry at the movies coming out simply because they think there is a streamlined agenda against you. It's nonsense. Are there bad movies being made? Oh God, yeah, a lot of them. It's hardly because of one reason. There are multiple reasons going on here. This is as real as I've been on this channel in a while and I apologize if it was a little too much. I like to keep things a little lighter, a little more loose, a little more fluff. Uh, but this, this has just been annoying me for a couple years now as someone who's, you know, trying to put out good content constantly and just getting steamrolled by douchebags online. If you wanna help out channels like this to grow, please comment, please like, please share, and think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or right here becoming a YouTube member using the join button. Though those are a couple ways you can help. And yeah, about the term, let's try to avoid it when possible. It's so overused, it's so lame and beaten down. Focus on individual movies and, and take them at their merit. Don't just watch a trailer or read an article or see some uh, virgin online bitch about a film before he's even seen it and make up your own decision. Thanks for watching the video. Hope it wasn't too woke for you. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, like the video if you had a good time, and hopefully I'll see you around the channel. I have a second channel called Adam Olinger. I'm on Twitch at Adam Olinger, playing games, mediocre. You can find me on TikTok recently at Adam Does Movies. A lot of ways to find me.